WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, uh, I've got the chart of, of NVIDIA up here. I believe the way we're looking for it to get to uh, 777. This is off by a little bit because of this little squirrel in here. But I believe the number we were looking at was 777, something like that. The high has been uh, 781, and it looks like we're still going higher. But that's what we're looking at. There was the low yesterday, and, of course, we've had this tremendous move up another 12%. This has changed everything, folks. This is the first time I've seen one stock or a group of stocks, small group of AI stocks, move every single market in the world. I mean, there was not a stock market in the world that was down after those earnings came out. It looked like the Messiah had finally arrived. And But anyway, that's, what, uh, that's what's going on right now here with the market. We're having a very strong run here this morning. Now, I do want to... Uh, since we have you on for the break here, I want to show you the long-term weekly price objective here. We were looking for the S&P cash to get up here to 504. We're now trading at 505.86, and it looks like there's nothing stopping it. But this is a, this is how markets end, folks. They don't begin here. They end here. But how much higher they're going to go, anybody's guess. We have made have not made new highs yet in the NASDAQ, which was quite surprising, but we're close. We're not very far away. Uh, with the Nasdaq, I believe we could show that here without too much trouble. You'd be able to see here that we've uh, came very, very close. I thought it was going to be stopping here, but it just went through it like it didn't even exist. Uh, we're still going higher. Here was the big gap up that we had. We had a nice A, B, C, D to the downside. Went a little bit lower than we expected, but uh, it did come back. You can see if you draw the A, B, C, D in right here, you'll be able to, to see how it goes in. We had an order, of course, to sell the S&P after that report came out in not the S&P, but the Dow Jones. It was filled and it lost its uh, uh, 100 points just very, very fast. And uh, luckily, it was trading very nicely, though. So it didn't, there was no gaps or anything. We got a nice fill going up. It backed off about a half a point, three quarters of a point in the Dow. And then, well, that means 50 to 75 points. And then away it went to the upside. So those are the things that we're paying attention to here this morning. Our guest today at the break is going to be Grace Morris. 